The Cabinet of Ministers decided today to liquidate the functions of the National Wealth Corporation Limited and NatWealth Securities Limited, which is established under the Mahapola Higher Education Scholarship Trust Fund. The Cabinet of Ministers approved the proposal presented by Minister of Higher Education and Cultural Affairs Dr. Vijay Dasa Rajapaksa to invest all the funds owned by the Mahapola Higher Education Scholarship Trust Fund in government banks and central bank bonds, liquidating the functions of these two companies in order to formalize the investments. The decision was taken in a bid to strengthen the Mahapola Higher Education Scholarship Trust Fund as the two companies established to invest in it have caused the fund certain disadvantages. Cabinet also approved the proposal to amend the name of the Mahapola Higher Education Trust Fund Act as Lalit Athulat Mudali Mahapola Higher Education Trust Fund Act. These two companies were established under complete ownership of the Mahapola Trust Fund, which was initiated as a concept of Minister Lalit Athulat Mudali for the welfare of higher education students. The Mahapola Higher Education Trust Fund is headed by the Chief Justice. Several issues arose surrounding companies which were established using the resources of funds with such an administrative structure. The primary issue is the fact that the funds of the National Wealth Corporation Limited and NatWealth Securities Limited are being diverted to an external company. It was even revealed at the Presidential Commission of Inquiry that this company suffered serious losses due to the central bank bond scam. What is the reason behind the decision to liquidate companies? What are the investments that have been made using the funds established to secure the education rights of the children in need? Shouldn't an audit be conducted before these companies are liquidated? News First is keeping a close watch. More details to follow.